In this video, we're going to take a look at solving percent problems. And there are two common ways that are used to solve percent problems. In this video, we're going to focus on using a proportion in order to solve that percent problem. And the nice part about solving these percent proportions is we solve them just like we always have solved proportions. So we'll take our is over of equals percent over 100 proportion and simply solve it by using our cross product. Let's take a look at an example and see if we can do just that. Here we're asked what percent of 25 is 16. To set up our percent proportion, is over of equals percent over 100, we'll divide the sentence up into pairs. What percent of 25 is 16? Is over of equals percent over 100. Is, we see, is with the number 16. Over of. Of is with the number 25. Equals percent, what percent? That must be our variable, over 100. We now have a proportion which could be used to answer this question. We can multiply our diagonals. 16 times 100 is 1600 equals the other diagonal, 25 times x, which is 25x. Finally, to solve this equation for x, we'll simply divide both sides by 25 and find out that x is equal to 64. Putting a label on it, x is equal to 64 percent. What percent of 25 is 16? 64 percent of 25 is 16. Let's try one more example where we set up a proportion and use that to solve the percent problem. Here we want to know 14 is 60 percent of what? Splitting the sentence up, 14 is 60 percent of what? we're ready to use the proportion is over of equals percent over 100. Is is with the number 14. Over of, which is with the word what, our variable, equals percent, the percent we're given is 60 over 100. Now we simply have to solve the remaining proportion in order to answer the question. We solve proportions by multiplying the diagonal to give us 1400 equals 60x. And finally, to get the x alone, we simply have to divide both sides by 60, which tells us that x is equal to 23.3 approximately, rounding to one decimal point. If we keep in mind the proportion is over of equals percent over 100, we can set up any percent problem to solve for the missing piece.